and it takes quite a time. There's only smoke, nothing else. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the, well, the celebration of the 200th anniversary of Artback bottle here in my cask. It's the Artback Perpetuum. 47.4% ABV and, well, limited, very limited uh, number of bottles. And as always, as every year, there will be a rush. On these bottles and every year there would be a 10 times uh, demand for the bottle which supply can't meet so don't be too much frustrated if you're not able to get your fingers on such a bottle 90% uh, of the people who like this or would like to have this bottle won't get one so <laughs> you're in good companion What's on the label? The Ultimate Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, that's written on our every art back, 1815 to 2015, 200 years here on top. And this art back box is the first one I've seen which is not in green, in this dark art back green. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Art back perpetuum. There's a <laughs> writing here in, in waveform. Well, I do not know where I have to start. Let's start in the middle. Of our whiskey creators and no man-made machine will ever be capable of producing man-made whiskey because time change about Artback remains, which is wh why no synthetic nose or taste bud will ever come close to replicating the skills of our whiskey creators and no man... <laughs> Perpetuum. You read it forever around this box. And there's the sign for, uh, this mathematical sign for uh, indefinitely. Um, <laughs> celebrating 200 years of art back. 200 years is a long time, but not in whiskey years. If one year equals seven years in Shorty's life, who's Shorty? Shorty is the dog of art back. Here, yeah, I think it's a Kurt Russell Terrier. I visited Outback, uh, but I haven't seen the dog. Perhaps he's dead? No, hope not. <clears throat> um, so seven years in a dog's life. Outback only ages every 10 years. It's a standard 10 year old bottle. So we're still a young pup and there's plenty of life in the old dog yet. <laughs> so 200 years divided by 10 years for a typical art bag means 20 generations of art bag on the market. But mm, I'm afraid there had been times of clothing of no production in the distillery. Yeah, <clears throat> is this a, a sign that this whiskey is aged for 10 years? No, not really. Yet. Who could have known back in 1815 that 200 years later Artback would still be made in the same place, from the same ingredients, in the same way? Today everyone at Artback knows that Artback, both the place and the whiskey, will endure for the next 200 years. Soon on this momentous occasion, our 200th anniversary, we raise... Did I have seen... Say, said soon. So on this momentous occasion, our 200th anniversary, we raise a glass to the past, the present and the future, of course, safe in the knowledge that there will be never be a robot that could take the place of the people who make art back. As long as there is the mouse on the computer, the whiskey will be handmade. Yeah, We pledge art back will never be automated or simulated, only ever celebrated. Yeah, that's it. No, nothing in. Um, I've got a small sample from the distributor. Thank you very much. So I do not have to open one of these really rare bottles. What's said here? A never-ending, rich and anticipating combination 
anticipating combination of classic Artbegian notes and incredibly cream flavors. Yeah, and on the back there is a taste description. Time change, art back remains. The past, present and future in a glass. Classic notes of Artbeck's yesteryear on the nose as mellow, rich and at and tissing. I'm no native English and tissing, eh? I haven't heard that word. Artbegian flavors mingle with dark chocolate, trickle and nutty oak. Then, like standing on Artbeck's pier this morning, water brings forth briny sea spray with a pine resin lime top node for a remarkably fresh bouquet. On the palate, robust peat smoke and savory smoky bacon meat, creamy sweet vanilla, milky milk chocolate with a hint of sherry cask, culminating in a taste of the future, an aftertaste that is never ending. Perpetuum, a whiskey that is forever art back. <laughs> I was close to opening this bottle. No, I have a sample. <clears throat> so there are sherry casks in this bottling. Um, but I had already a look at this sample and I'm afraid it's really light. It has no amber color as it said in the description. It's light golden. Um, already smoky. Yeah, a typical Artbeck smoke already in the air. Yeah, it's this mixture between the phenols and medicinal smoke and the uh, cold bonfire smoke or the uh, cold smoke of a of an extinguished fire so this is not this extreme medicinal smoke and it takes quite a time there's only smoke nothing else So very little vanilla is appearing. A little sweetness is coming up. So Artbeck is typically very sweet, but you're not able to find it. So empty your glass of Artbeck, whatever it is, let it rest on your table so that in the morning everything is evaporated and then smell on it on the glass. Then you have the sweetness of Artbeck. Some nuttiness is coming, a little oakiness, but not too strong. And it's sad there's chocolate, no, I'm afraid not. Not yet. This is the smoked ham note. Yeah, there's a smoked ham note, there's a sweetiness. Probably some resin. Yeah. And a little chocolate coming up, 50% plus cocoa content. But the sherry, I'm afraid if at all, very far away. So the color shows, Artbeck never colors it whiskey artificially. So the color shows that this whiskey is either quite young or refilled sherry cask, some in it, or very few sherry casks. So my personal point of view is that this is uh, 
mostly refill experiment cask. Our first fill experiment cask for a very short time. It's telling in the press release that there are some very old art bags in it. How old is very old at Outback? It's a long time since we've seen the last whiskey with 25 years old or 17 years old or 16 year old the Arigna Beicht. So very old means a little bit more than 12 from my point of view. So 10 years is widely available and this nose on the whiskey shows a lot of it. Well, the typical art bag. And there are some additions to it. There's an, an oily note. There's no dryness or extreme sweetness in the after. Ah, sweetness, well, probably. Uh, but there's some oiliness in it. This is different to the typical art bag. So the 47.4% ABV uh, should be with the viscosity of the whiskey. The viscosity of the whiskey is mainly depending on. No, not the oiliness of the whiskey, mainly on the ABV. So there's a maximum of oiliness between 43% and 46%. There, the viscosity is the highest in a whiskey. Uh, below, it's watery, and above, it's this very light viscosity of a pure alcohol. Have you ever uh, got a, uh, a pure alcohol from a pharmacy? Go in, put it in a glass, Swill it, and you see how how thin the viscosity is of of pure alcohol. So this one uh, shows a little bit more of viscosity, more than this 1.4 extra ABV. So there is a little oiliness in it, wherever it comes from. The smoked ham. The dark chocolate is gone. More sweetness. And now the chocolate in the aftertaste. It's no milk chocolate, it's 40% cocoa in the chocolate. Yeah, or more. A little bitterness in it either from European oak, from the sherry cask, or from uh, re-refill experiment casks, which are used for a long time. They deliver tannins, which might be a little bit bitter. <coughs> so this whiskey is quite close to the 10-year-old. So 80% from my personal view in this whiskey is Outback 10. Um, there's a small amount of sherry cask whiskey in it. Not that much as it is in the Ugedal. The Ugedal has 10 to 15% sherry cask, I was told. Um, so that one has more sherry cask influence. It's also darker, the Ugedal. Um, but the others, this very old one, perhaps brings the uh, the chocolate node, perhaps there are very f young ones in, which bring the extreme smokiness. Shall you go for this whiskey? Rush for this whiskey because it's a limited edition. It will rise in price very fast. So it will be around 80 euros, 90 euros, below 100 euros, pounds, dollars in the beginning. And then afterwards price prices will rise because people Wholesale dealers typically uh, put pallets of whiskey away from the market, wait until the first rush is gone, and then they bring it to the market with a higher price. Uh, and then prices will rise also at in the internet uh, at auctions. Yeah. And after a few years, this whiskey will be worth. 200 euros, 300 euros, depending on how many bottles of those were already on the put on the market by the distillery. Um, there had been an Artbeck Perpetuum at the distillery, only at the distillery, 
as far as I heard, and that one had a different uh, ABV, not 47.4, but I think it was a little bit higher. Uh, don't mix the, those two bottles up. The other one would be much, much higher in price because the amount of uh, bottles available was far less. So this is really a collector's item. Um, and if you, as a typical art bag connoisseur, shall rush for this whiskey, Dep depends on your will, on your ego, <laughs> to fight for this whiskey, to go after this whiskey. Um, if not, buy a bottle of Artbeck 10 and a bottle of Artbeck Ugedal for the same price, and you're fine. Hmm. Thank you very much for watching. There's more to come, and feel free.